dear viewers today we are going to design steel portal frame in RFEM version 5.30 software so let's start we will create new model name portal frame design by decode pd we will save this in this folder and uh, load case and combination we will choose ac705 create com load combination automatically ok and positive uh, orientation of global z axis upward in this case we have to apply the vertical loads with negative symbol if we click on downward then we have to we can apply positive value for gravitational loads so i will keep same like this one i will go for next step okay we will use smart frame generator for creating the 3d model 3d hall we will choose number 5 span total length 3 meter total building length 3 meter 30 meter sorry and geometry here you can provide the irregular frame span frame also normally uh, we are getting the regular frame spans so we are going for this option width 4 span having total width for example 24 meter roof same is in this extra in this direction 4 span here we can provide coupling member or we can provide parling also so let's check with coupling members this will be that will be the member will be as truss and if height 6 meter roof piece if we provide the angle 7 degree then the height of ridge will be adjusted or if we provide the height of ridge here then the angle will be generated automatically by the program support type hinge ok and insertion point 000 and if there is tapered section or horn section in the rafter then we can provide this one we provide the length 2 meter tapered section length ok position bracing if we want to provide bracing then we have we have to click this option and there is 5 span we will provide the span number 1 3 and then 5 side wall rear same we can copy this value for new folders we have it will be empty and we have to add the numbers i have created some model before that's why the values are coming automatically and the roof also i will provide number one three and five number span now we will go for cross section click here here two option here we will get the standard cross sections and here we will get we will get parametric cross section so we will go for user defined cross section height 450 wave height flange width 300 wave thickness 8 milli lens thickness 10 millimeter uh, if we want to provide this thickness a we can provide i am leaving, leaving it empty i will choose the material properties a yes, still a 572 grade 50 we can choose from here also here a lot of materials and here the groups okay okay 
done is means i section and this is the value dimension frame wrapped up i will choose another 400 300 8 10 section material properties 50 grade okay okay column hunts we will not provide we so that it will remain same frame column and column one same section rafter hunts we will provide we will go for parametric 600 300 8 and 10 actual properties period 50 okay corner column we can provide 350 300 8 10 corner column material properties we will check sorry here we can corner column here we can change the material T okay gable post we will select same section if we want to provide another we can create from here Coupling member will select this section. We'll go for rectangular fifty. We'll go for six this one we will select and material properties this one okay coupling member it will work as member a trust member all the member type selected by the program automatically because these are the appropriate member type for this model vertical bracing we will choose rod rod 20 millimeter tire and this is material grade we can choose from here steel grade a92 okay here we can see the properties uh, ultimate strength and the yield strength 21.5 we can choose stm standard this one we can choose this one also thirty five Here, yeah, this one grade 60 still we can use. Okay. Okay. So, this done now for load. If we want to generate load from here, we can do it, but I will not do. I will just uh, keep this pre stress load for member type tension. Tension for tension bracing. Here we can provide the pre stress load. I am keeping it for example 0.5 kN. Okay, then done. Here the this section we will change so that it will be corrected. Right click, edit member here. We will reverse this section 600 to 450. Sorry, here it was 100. Okay, so this connected 
and here we'll do the same six hundred we start with four hundred the beam section and in six hundred now we will create load cases click on here this we don't need keep, keep this pre-stress and we will add dead load dead load no, sorry this okay pre-stress we will add new dead load dead active okay live load w1 live load will be selected as live wind will be wind then create new w2 w3 w4 w5 w6 w7 w8 8 number of load cases needed for AIC this uh, wind load cases AIC wind loading and another 2 is needed for minimum wind loading W9 W10 thus that one ok we will create W9 I will show the during the wind generation okay action dead live wind and combination will be generated by the design code lrft action combination this now generated Dot combination okay result combination this one so okay now we will apply our loads dead load on the roof go to generate load from area global related to true area ok this one magnitude here we have selected dead load that dead load will put minus 0 0.28 for example and here we will select the node this 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 and this last one this and from here also this two okay okay our area has been created we want to remove our cup, coupling member from the influence load influence click on this select so coupling members are removed has been removed from have been removed from the influence of the load applied on the surface so that the main frame can take the full load so click on ok ok so this is our gravitational load acting downward we have applied uh, we have put the value negative value so it is going downward now we will apply live load go to tools generate load from area same like this one and we will change the value one sorry 0 0.57 for example ok we can see the separate value generator uh, the resultant value on the frame display separately this is our resultant value and this is the applied load as a surface load 
now we will go for wind loading go to tools generate loads wind load vertical walls very roof we will choose ac here exposure cap category enclosed fully and the direction uh, directionality factor topographic factor ground elevation factor uh, gas effect factor we are keeping by as it is by default wind speed for example 28 meter per second mean roof height for example we have provided this one uh, ridge height 7.5 meter for example 7.15 this mean roof height or 7.25 for example another will keep you can change this uh, parameter according to the uh, design code and building shapes normally uh, we are using this actors maximum for maximum of the structure in some cases this values needs to be changed so now we will select the base geometry click on here we will remove all node now we will create from there this and this this is our base node and our roof is two piece roof so we will select this one here you can see the wind direction we will select this one this one node this this and this so see our uh, cladding area has been have been generated by the program automatically according to the selection of nodes now set wind side we will see sir, this a b we can set d also so, no same same as uh, it is this direction and this direction so we will we are keeping a b and b c d b c d now load uh, minimum wind load see here w1 w2 these two case we will provide for the minimum wind load case for a b 9 10 11 direction here we can create if we need more we don't need load case we will select w5 load case 12 load case 13 14 15 16 and 17 for this cases we have to i had to create this load cases 8 to 10 so now we will go for now we have to check the wind load to be applied on main frame only not in the coupling member here coupling member also selected for the wind load we will remove this selection click here member parallel to member click this then the coupling members will be removed from the wind load influence okay then go for okay and okay so this is our wind load w1 w2 w3 w4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and load combination generated automatically we have seen press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update